So a couple weeks ago, Ableton released their brand new Push 3, which they do have a standalone version. And it was a huge deal. And everybody was saying this was going to be the MPC's biggest competitor. But my one question is, where's the beats? Because if this is going to be the MPC's biggest competitor, I would have heard more beats by now. Or at least like videos of people making beats with it. Right? Or am I just tripping? Bolo! All right, before we get started, make sure you guys go ahead and check out Analog Cases. They are the number one place to go to find cases to protect your gear. For example, when I'm not making beats on my MPCs, I always switch over to my Machine Plus, even though they haven't upgraded it. That's a whole other issue. But when I'm not using my Machine Plus, I have to have somewhere to store it. And one of the best places to store it is inside a case made from Analog Cases. See, the good thing about Analog Cases is when they make a case for your specific gear, they make the case for your specific gear. Like the case for my Machine Plus. The Machine Plus fits perfectly inside of the case and on each side of the Machine Plus, they have compartments to where you can fit your plugs and fit your cables and fit your SD cards or even your USB sticks or whatever else you wanna carry inside of it. Now, the best thing about this case is knowing that your gear is going to be protected at all costs. This case is full of padding from top to bottom. So you don't have to worry about things shifting, moving, it is gonna sit in there snug and it's gonna stay protected. Now, another thing I like about this case is that it is a hard shell case. It is perfect for traveling and it is perfect for storage. And it looks good too. It looks really good. And if you wanna have an extra level of security, it comes with a key to where you can lock it. So, you know, nobody won't be able to get in there. So if you're looking for a case, look no further than analog cases. They make cases for just about everything that is mainstream out there. And they have miscellaneous cases for all your other stuff as well. So if you wanna go ahead and check out these cases, go ahead and click that link in the description and go ahead and check out Analog Cases and get you a case today so you can protect your sh Click that link in the description right now. Also, if you need some equipment, go ahead and check out zounds.com, but click my link in the description so you guys can go ahead and get some equipment today. They have a whole bunch of stuff on the site that requires no credit or background check. Yeah. No credit or background check. So that means you can go ahead and order it. They'll ship it over to you and you can just pay it off over time. So it's not all the stuff on the site, but it's a good quantity of stuff on the site that you can get with no credit or background check required. So go ahead, click my link in the description, my link, and go to zounds.com and get you some equipment today. Go ahead. All right, so the Ableton Push 3. The standalone version. Now, I'm not talking about the regular Ableton push that works with the computer. I'm talking about the standalone version. Now, a lot of people would like, Bolo, this is going to be the MPC's biggest competition. The push three is going to knock the MPC out and it is going to be a new order. The push three by Ableton. And, you know, I was actually kind of like caught up in the hype. I'm like, oh, this thing looks pretty cool because, you know, the machine hasn't came out with a new unit yet and Ableton just released that new thing. And then there was a whole bunch of people online who actually got theirs in advance and they made some videos, but it really wasn't a lot of videos where people were actually making beats on it. Okay. I went to the people who I watch on the regular and that is like L Dre. I seen his, um, and I seen decaps, which he actually made some beats, but I don't know if he made a full video of him making beats. I seen his stuff on his YouTube shorts. Um, I went to L Dre's video. He discussed it a little bit and he said he was going to make a beat. And I'm actually really waiting to see that because I know he makes some really dope lo-fi beats. So I can't wait to see that. But that was a couple weeks back. Hold up. Wait a minute. L Dre did put a beat out. He put one out yesterday. Okay. Cool. I'm about to check that one out right now. Not bad, Eldre. Not bad. Chopping up samples. Okay, cool. All right, we got we got a video. There we go. I actually made a beat on the Ableton Push 3. I made a little Memphis-style beat over with Jay Black, you know, over at his crib because he had one. And I've seen him make a beat on it, and I've seen his videos, like, on Instagram, and I've seen uh, some videos, like, with him just making beats online. And I heard some of his beats at his house, but I have not really seen a whole bunch of people making beats on the Ableton Push 3. And it got me thinking, 
It could be two things with that. Number one, of course, it could be a lot of people do not have the push three because from what I hear, some people got to wait like two months just to get it. And that's actually kind of crazy. And another thing is, is there a lot of Ableton people who work on the computer? Are they going to be making beats on the push three in standalone? See, that's the thing. My question about this whole Ableton thing was, was it going to be able to pull the people who use Ableton on the computer off the computer and work exclusively in a standalone situation? And my thing is this, this is just my opinion. It's going to be very hard for them to do that because the push three does not offer a lot of the amenities that it does on a computer, which pretty much any program, you know, it's going to be hard for anybody to leave any program like that. However, it's a little different in the MPC community because like when I was having a conversation with brother EA Ski, he brought up a very good point. He said that the NPCs are known to be standalone units. They are standalone units first. When they first came out, they were a standalone unit. Then they went into the doll world, but we still know them as to being a standalone unit. That's why, hence, a lot of people still use NPCs and you still see a whole bunch of videos of people using NPCs in a standalone way. With the Ableton Push 3, I don't know if that's gonna happen because that means you're gonna have to take people from the computer and make them like to make beats on something that they're not used to making beats on. See, the difference between the NPC and everything else, most people that work on the NPCs worked on the standalone units first, whether it being the 3000, the 4000, the 2000, 2000 XL, the 1000, the 2500, you know, all those were standalone units. So a lot of us who worked in standalone used those units first, and then we gradually moved up to where we're at right now with the X, the X Special Edition, the Live 2, the MPC-1, the MPC-1 Plus, the MPC Key 61, all of that stuff, we gradually kind of grew into. Now, there's a few people who went from software to now they're using just the standalone hardware, but it's very few. A lot of us that use these MPs came from that standalone background. That's why I'm saying right now, it's going to be very hard for even people to cross over. Because if you've been working on the NPC, you're used to that workflow, it's going to be very hard for you to cross over into the Ableton workflow if you're not used to it. And some people really just don't have the time for it. Now, the Push 3 is very dope. I'm going to tell you right now, it's very dope. It doesn't sound like the NPCs. It's a little bit weaker sound, but it is a very dope thing to use. But there is a learning curve with it. And with that learning curve, especially people who are rooted in the MPC system, it's going to be very hard for them to kind of switch over like that. And vice versa, it's going to be very hard for people that have been using Ableton on the software to switch over to the hardware version because of how easy it is to track things out, add effects, put stuff together. Because let's be honest with you, nobody wants to spend $2,000 on a piece of equipment and then you still just have to hook it up to the computer later on to get stuff done. That's the difference with the NPCs. When we're on the NPCs, we don't have to make something on the NPC and then finish it out on the NPC software. A lot of us make the music in standalone mode and then pretty much we can do all our mixing and doing everything else inside of it without having to rely on the software to actually finish the beat. And also I can say that about the Machine Plus as well. I can actually make a beat fully in the Machine Plus, add all my effects and add everything to it, and I can get everything done inside of it without having to use the software. With the Ableton Push, I don't know if that can happen. Maybe if I work on it a little bit longer, maybe, but from what I've seen and from what I've heard, a lot of Ableton users that I know are saying that the Push looks interesting. However, they don't want to have to pay that much money for the standalone unit and still have to finish everything inside of the box because they're used to doing 
everything inside of the box with the Ableton software. So you guys let me know if there's some videos out there of people making some really good beats, you know, and I'm talking about some, you know, hard beats. I'm talking about like hip hop. I'm talking about some trap stuff. I'm talking about that. You know what I'm saying? Like some old school 80s hip hop, old school 90s hip hop, early 2000s. I want to hear that. I know it's a lot of electronic and dance musicians that use the Ableton. I want to see that as well. But I've been looking over the internet and I have not been seeing that many beats or that many videos of people making beats on it. Now, maybe it might be because a lot of people don't have them yet. I ain't seen it. I could be tripping though. And if I am, leave me some links so I can go ahead and see it. And if it is, you guys know I'll make a follow-up video apologizing. <laughs> So I hope this video was informative. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And like I always say, peace out.